When rubbing the wool cloth on the plastic sheet, electrons from the wool cloth are transferred to the sheet, giving the once neutral sheet a negative charge. This process is charging by friction because there is friction created between the cloth and the sheet. Some of the neutral balls then become polarized and their protons move to the top as they're attracted by the negatively charged plastic sheet. When the finger is introduced, the finger also becomes polarized by the polarized ball and therefore there is an attraction between the finger and the ball that allows the finger to make the balls dance. What concepts were included in this trick? First, there was positive, negative, and neutral charges. Next, there was a polarization of charge between the plastic sheet and the balls and also the balls and the finger. Next, the conservation of charge occurred, as the total amount of charge at the beginning and end of the magic trick were the same. Lastly, there was charging by friction, as the cloth charged the plastic sheet when we rubbed it on the plastic sheet due to friction. The wand generates a negative charge. When the wand moves close to the ball, the ball becomes polarized and attracted to the negative charge of the wand. When the wand and the ball touch, the wand gives the ball an overall negative charge by charging through contact. The negative ball is repelled from the negative wand. Overall, what concepts were included in this trick? First, there was positive, negative, and neutral charges. There was also polarization of charge between the gold ball and the wand. Next, the conservation of charge occurred, as the total amount of charge at the beginning and end of the magic trick were the same. There also was charging by contact, as the ball was charged by the wand when the wand touched the ball. Lastly, there was conductors. The metal gold ball was a conductor.